So now you're at the earliest uh, you can issue a warrant um, following such a hearing. You're now at um, July the 10th, depending on what day that falls. So you're getting much, much closer, is, is all I can say. Um, you know, can you execute the agreement on the 5th of July? Call for the budget hearing uh, that day, uh, assuming, you know, we're speaking hypothetically here because, of course, it's at the time in the future and no decisions have been made. Assuming that that's the, the will of the board, um, you are really pushing up uh, against uh, the deadline. Um, I'll refer to the board as the timing as uh, to um, the best funds to draw, but if this is an agreement that people are interested in, in terms of sequential, it's really the land purchase agreement that needs to be accomplished first within the 60 days. We need to build into sufficient closing time and the ability to gain access to a warrant or for you know uh, the public benefit, essentially a check. So those, they're kind of a variable time frame. Um, you know, unfortunately, we don't have the ability right now or the assurances at least to be able to extend it beyond uh, July the 15th at this time. That's really your job to take. There's other funds to be extended. The agreement's not public. There will be other many hundreds of thousands of dollars being contemplated. Again, I do not know why we're not going to wait and go through the public process. Then the public will know the whole agreement, the whole amount of the funds we're talking. We are being asked next week for over half a million dollars. You're starting to take steps without going through the proper process. I do not understand the rush. Because this has been going on for 70 years. Can you imagine how many counties have been used in the last 70 years? This is a block in the bucket compared to all the time and the money that has been spent for that. That's why I think you have another person to get you that. We can use this to get you that.